Hello, my name is Vincent St. Louis. You know, I read a story the other day about a treasure hunter that had been tre hunting for this treasure for over 16 years, spent $16 million hunting for this treasure. Even during the, during the process of, of hunting for this treasure, he lost his son and his daughter-in-law. They drowned and, and other, other divers had drowned in, in the pursuit of, of this man's dream and, and this man's vision of, of finding this treasure. And after 16 years and $16 million and everybody's telling him, give it up, it's not here, this is not real, this is a, a pipe dream, he finally found the, the Atosha. Mel Fisher fought for years and years of all kinds of discouragement, setbacks and, and whatnot to, to find one of the largest treasures ever known to man. Mel Fisher didn't give up. See, one of the things in desire is, is a perseverance and, and the ability to, to carry on. I read a, another story the other day about a, a golfer that was out there and, and he, was, he was playing in a tournament and the, the stress and the pressure just got too much. And after all these, these years of, of playing golf out on the tournament and, and people walking up to him or, or hearing people say, wow, if I had a swing like yours, I, w I, w I could do anything. If, if I just had a swing like yours, if I could just hit the ball like you. And at this one particular moment out there on the fairway, he just got frustrated and the stress just got too much of him. And he walked over to that individual and says, oh yeah? You want to swing like mine? What about getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning and going out there and hitting hundreds of balls until your fingers are bloody and then going in the clubhouse and washing the blood off your hands and putting a Band-Aid on it and going out there and hitting another 100 balls? What about standing in the, the sand trap and hitting golf balls with the wind blowing sand in your face, doing it day after day after day? Oh, yeah, you want to swing like mine? You want to swing like, like mine as long as it doesn't make you hurt and make you bleed. You want to swing like mine as long as it's easy. But do you really want to swing like mine? then you're going to have to do the work. Another story of a, of a, of a concert violinist was just got finished playing the, this, this beautiful concert and was, was introducing and talking to the, the, the fans and, and one lady said, wow, if I, if, if I could just play the violin like you, I, I'd, I'd give up my life to play that, play like you. And the violinist looked at the lady and said, ma'am, I did. So what is your determination? Do you want it? Do you really want it? Do you really want what, what you're, you're pursuing? Do you have the desire in your belly and your heart to do it? Do you want to be that, that top producing real estate agent, but yet you've got this, this couple in your car that you, you've traveled them around to look at 20 different houses and, and they're just so picky. They're looking for that perfect thing and at the house and you're, you're just not, they're not seeing it with you and you're just getting frustrated and you're thinking, you, you drop them off and you're cussing them under your breath. Are you doing the right thing and you're, you're being thankful and grateful for that client, that customer? And doing everything in your power. Do you want it? Do you want it bad enough? Do you have the desire in your belly to be that top real estate producer? Maybe it's you want to be a corporate vice president, the corporate president, and you're, you're, you're an employee and, and you're, you're working through and you want that raise, but yet you're the, guy, the person that's on Facebook and on Twitter and stealing and robbing the company of money. Do you really want it? Do you really want it bad enough? Do you really want it with, with maybe you're, you're, you're an insurance salesman or, or you're, you're, you, you want your, your success, but yet you're the person that's talking bad about the vice president or the president behind their back? Or, or maybe you're, you're a, a, a network marketer and you, and you want to be the, the next diamond or the next black diamond, the next executive in your, in your company, but yet you're putting down other companies. Do you really want it that bad? You know, there's two w ways to, to have the largest building in town. One is to tear down all the other buildings. The other is to build up your building. Do you want it bad enough to where you can talk positive about other people? Do you want it bad enough? What is your desire? Do you really want it? Do you really want it bad enough to do whatever it takes? Or are you just the person that just wants it when it's easy? Would you really want it bad enough to when your, your whole upline quits and jumps to another company? Just to chase after, after the, the quick fast fix, but you know in your heart that this is the place for you? Do you want it bad enough to where you stay? Do you want it bad enough to where the economy changes and your whole downline quits and you're left with just a couple of people? Do you want it bad enough? So you say you want to be the next football player, the next Michael Jordan, but you realize what he went through? How many people turned him down for, 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 to recruit him? Do you want it bad enough? Do you want it bad enough to go out there when your hands are bloody, your nose is bloody, when you knock down one more time? Do you want it bad enough? Do you have the desire in your belly to keep on going and keep on going when your spouse doesn't support you? Do you want it bad enough? 
You want it bad enough when you're hurts in your belly and you can't sleep at night and the pain and the, the desire of your heart. Do you want it bad enough? Do you have the desire to in your gut and your belly to keep going and going and going? Do you want it bad enough? Do you have the desire? Do you want it bad enough? Are you a champion? Are you the person that's going to give up when the times get tough? Or do you want it bad enough? Do you want it bad enough? Do you go out there night after night after night? Do you want it bad enough? You want it bad enough when you keep doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it and doing the right thing and nobody's recognizing, nobody's realizing what you're doing? Do you want it bad enough? Do you want it bad enough to where you're going to go out there night after night when nobody else believes in you but you? Do you want it bad enough when you can't sleep at night when your gut hurts because you see other people succeed and you know you're working as hard as them and it's not happening for you? Do you want it bad enough? 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 I do. You do. Let's go get it. Go do it.